The end of February and the start of March 2018 brought an unforgettable event known as the Beast from the East, a relentless blast of Siberian air that swept across the UK and much of Europe, plunging millions into a deep freeze. For days, the country was gripped by a cold so intense that it felt as if winter itself had tightened its icy grip on every street and home. Heavy snow and biting winds swept across the land, burying roads beneath towering drifts and leaving entire communities cut off from the outside world. Schools closed their doors, public transport ground to a halt, and even emergency services struggled to reach those in need. The landscape was transformed overnight, with familiar places rendered unrecognizable under a thick white blanket. Red weather warnings flashed across the nation, urging people to stay indoors and prepare for the worst. Thousands of homes were plunged into darkness as power lines snapped under the weight of ice and snow, leaving families to huddle together for warmth as the cold lingered for days on end. The situation intensified when the beast from the east collided with Storm Emma, unleashing blizzard conditions rarely seen in modern times. Roads disappeared beneath snow, railways froze, and airports shut down, putting the resilience of modern infrastructure to the ultimate test. Daytime temperatures barely crept above zero, and in some places, the mercury plunged to minus 10 degrees Celsius, or even lower. People bundled up in layers, braving the bitter cold only when absolutely necessary, while the world outside seemed to stand still beneath a silent, frozen sky. Meteorologists traced the origins of this extraordinary event to a sudden stratospheric warming high above the Arctic, which disrupted the polar vortex and sent frigid air cascading southward. The beast from the east quickly became a benchmark for severe winter weather, a stark reminder of nature's unpredictable power. Now, whenever similar atmospheric patterns appear in weather forecasts, both meteorologists and the public alike watch with a mix of fascination and concern, wondering, could another beast be on its way to challenge us again? The memory of 2018 lingers on, a chilling reminder of just how powerful, disruptive, an awe-inspiring winter can truly be when nature decides to show its might. So what are the chances of a repeat this December? Let's look at the weather models. These advanced computer simulations use global data to predict future weather, and right now, they're hinting at a colder than average December. The key signal high pressure building to the north, blocking mild Atlantic air and opening the door for Arctic winds. Model runs suggest this block could form by mid-December, setting up a classic cold spell. While models differ on the exact details, more ensemble forecasts are pointing toward a significant period of cold. It's not a guaranteed repeat of 2018, but the probability of a wintry outbreak is rising. Forecasting weeks ahead is tricky, but the trend is clear. We need to be ready for a potential cold snap. We'll be watching the models closely as December approaches. To truly understand the risk of a cold spell this winter, we need to look beyond just the local weather forecast. There are powerful forces at play high above us, shaping the weather we experience on the ground. One of the most important of these is a phenomenon you might not have heard much about, but it's absolutely crucial for our winter weather. It's called the Arctic Oscillation, or AO for short. This climate pattern acts like a giant switch, controlling how much cold air escapes from the Arctic and where it ends up. The AO has two main phases. In its positive phase, strong winds circle the Arctic, trapping the cold air up north over the ice. This keeps the frigid temperatures locked away, far from the UK and the rest of Europe. But in the negative phase, those winds weaken. The cold air is no longer contained and can spill southward, bringing a sudden chill to much of Europe. When the AO is positive, a strong jet stream flows over the UK, keeping our weather relatively mild, but also stormy and wet. Classic British winter conditions. However, when the AO turns negative, the jet stream weakens and meanders. This allows icy Arctic air to surge south sometimes leading to snowstorms and a sharp drop in temperatures across Europe. Right now, the latest indicators and weather models show the AO is trending negative for December.
this shift increases the risk of a significant cold outbreak, just as winter gets underway. Of course, this doesn't guarantee a beast from the east, or a record-breaking freeze, but it does mean the odds are stacking up in favour of colder, more wintry conditions than usual. We could see more icy mornings, slippery roads, and even some snow in places that don't usually get much. The Arctic Oscillation is a crucial piece of the winter weather puzzle. Its sudden shift is one of the main reasons forecasters are sounding the alarm and urging people to prepare for the possibility of a colder winter. When the AO goes negative, Europe's winter can change fast, sometimes in just a matter of days, with temperatures dropping and snow arriving unexpectedly. That's why meteorologists are watching this pattern very closely, ready to update forecasts as soon as new data comes in. The AO is a key player, and its next move could shape our winter in a big way. Closely tied to the AO is the polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air over the poles. When strong, it keeps Arctic air locked away. But if it weakens, cold air escapes south. Sudden stratospheric warming events can disrupt the vortex, as happened in 2018, unleashing the beast from the east. Current forecasts show signs of the vortex stretching and weakening as December nears. Even a modest disruption can send Arctic air into Europe, bringing a sharp cold snap. Think of the polar vortex as the Arctic's gatekeeper. When it falters, winter's chill can surge south. This mechanism could turn a chilly forecast into a truly wintry one. The polar vortex's behavior in the coming weeks will be critical. We're on alert for any signs of a major shift. Are we facing a repeat of the 2018 beast from the east? That year, the UK and much of Europe were gripped by a historic cold snap, with snow piling up and temperatures plunging far below average. Now, as we look at the winter of 2025, many are asking if we're about to experience something similar, or if history is simply echoing, not repeating. There are clear similarities between the two years, but also some important differences that could shape how this winter unfolds. In both 2018 and 2025, we see high pressure building to the north, which acts like a barrier, redirecting winds from the cold east or north straight into Europe and the UK. Back in 2018, a dramatic sudden stratospheric warming event split the polar vortex, unleashing a wave of extreme cold and heavy snow that caught many off guard and led to widespread disruption. This year, however, weather models suggest a slower, less intense weakening of the polar vortex. While this still opens the door for a significant cold spell, it's likely to be less severe and perhaps not as long-lasting as what we saw seven years ago. The source of the cold air this time may be Scandinavia or the Arctic, rather than the deep, relentless Siberian chill that dominated in 2018. This could mean slightly milder conditions, but still enough to bring snow and ice. So, while 2018 remains a powerful reference point, this winter's event may be shorter, less intense, and with lighter snowfall in many areas. Still, even a light version of the beast from the east can cause major disruption, affecting travel, daily routines, and even power supplies. The atmosphere rarely repeats itself exactly. Each winter brings its own unique twists, but the risk of a notable cold spell this year is very real, and it's wise to stay alert. Preparation is key, as any Arctic blast, even a brief one, can have big impacts on our lives, infrastructure, and communities. Stay informed, stay safe, and be ready for whatever this winter brings. If the pattern develops as models suggest, the UK and Germany could see a dramatic drop in temperatures by mid-December. High pressure will block mild Atlantic air, bringing in cold winds from the north or east. Daytime highs may struggle above freezing, with sharp frosts and widespread ice at night. In the UK, easterly winds could bring snow showers to eastern coasts, while a northerly flow targets Scotland and northern England. Germany, already prone to colder winters, could face a deep freeze and significant snowfall, 
especially in the east and south. Major cities like Berlin and Munich should prepare for icy roads and travel disruption. This won't be a brief chill. Expect a sustained period of cold, with increased energy demand and travel risks. The message, get ready for a real taste of winter. With a harsh winter spell possible, preparation is vital. Check your heating and insulation now. Draft excluders and boiler servicing can make a big difference. Know where your water stopcock is in case of frozen pipes. For travel, ensure your car is winter ready. Good tires, de-icer, blanket, torch, and emergency supplies. Always check forecasts before journeys and heed travel warnings. Stock up on food and medication and dress in layers to stay warm. Look out for vulnerable neighbours. Community support is crucial in severe cold. Stay informed with the latest weather updates and warnings. A little preparation now means less stress and more safety when winter hits. What's the verdict for December? Expect a month of two halves. Early December will likely be unsettled and mild, with rain and average temperatures. Around mid-month, high pressure to the north should bring a sharp transition to colder, wintry weather. Arctic air could sweep in, bringing widespread frost, icy patches and snow showers, especially in the east and north. Some models suggest this cold spell could last into the Christmas period, raising hopes for a white Christmas. Others show a quicker return to milder air, but a sustained cold period seems more likely. While a full repeat of 2018 is unlikely, a notable cold snap is on the cards. Be ready for winter to arrive with real force. As we look ahead, remember, long-range forecasts are about probabilities, not certainties. The atmosphere is unpredictable, a small shift can mean the difference between a dusting and a blizzard. That's why preparation matters, no matter what the models say. Stay weather aware, check forecasts regularly, and be ready for sudden changes. The signs point to a colder, snowier December, but surprises are always possible. Use this outlook as a guide, not a guarantee. We'll keep you updated every step of the way. Stay warm, stay safe, and respect the power of winter.